Hello, my name is Saad Usmani. I'm the Division Chief of Plasma Cell Disorders at the Levine Cancer Institute, um, and I'm going to be sharing with you results of an abstract that I've just presented at the ASCO 2020 annual meeting on a BCMA bispecific monoclonal antibody called teclistamab. The study I'm presenting is a first-in-human phase one dose escalation study. Um, teclistamab is a BCMA-directed bispecific monoclonal antibody developed on the uh, Janssen dual body uh, platform. Uh, we so far, I, you know, we have treated 78 patients that I'm reporting on in the dose escalation portion of the study. Um, the objectives of, of this particular study were obviously looking at safety and tolerability of this compound, um, as well as PKPD features, and then um, the responses as we continue to escalate therapy. The cohorts I'm reporting on are up to the doses of 720 microgram per kilogram. The dosing is on a weekly schedule, and from the second cohort uh, onwards, dose of 38.4 micrograms per kilogram, uh, we had a step-up dosing um, in, included in the protocol to allow for better CRS management. Um, all in all, um, the median of six prior lines of treatment uh, for these 78 patients, uh, with vast majority, 80% um, of the patients having been pentadrug um, um, uh, exposed, um, you know, similar number being triple class refractory, um, and a you know significant number of patients, um, you know, uh, uh, have been exposed to both carfilzomib, pomalidomide, as well as um, an anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody. Uh, what we saw in terms of safety was the usual uh, hematologic um, uh, toxicities that we would expect as being the most common ones in the relapsed refractory patient population. Um, in terms of CRS, we saw 58% and all were grade one and grade two. Uh, we did not see any grade three. Uh, and I think, you know, the step up dosing was, was probably um, the reason why we saw a very low number of neurotoxicity events. Only six events uh, were, were seen and four of those six events were grade one and grade two. We did have two grade four DLTs, one thrombocytopenia and one delirium. And the delirium episode happened a day after the CRS had already resolved. Um, uh, of the patients who had uh, CRS, uh, a little over half received an intervention for CRS, uh, which included uh, steroids or tocilizumab, um, oxygen supplementation, and in one case, a uh, low dose of vasopressor for a few hours. Um, in, you know, for overall responses, we started to see the early responses from the 38.4 microgram per uh, kilogram dose onwards. Uh, but the most recent cohort with 270 microgram per kilogram is probably where we started to see more consistent responses. Of the 12 patients treated, we saw an overall response rate of 67%. Of the eight responders, seven were uh, uh, triple class refractory, five of eight were pentadrug refractory. And of the uh, five patients who were MRD valuable, four out of five had MRD negativity at 10 to the minus six. So all in all, we saw a safe profile and activity with uh, this drug. The dose escalation cohorts are ongoing for, for the IV uh, formulation, and, and we're hoping to share more data at ASH uh, meeting later this year. 